So what's up guys, I'm Xenogrid and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can increase your FPS in Apex Legends and boost your performance. Now season 11 of Apex Legends is right around the corner and I know a lot of you guys are actually excited to play it. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Now before we begin, I would like to say something and that is my low end PC is actually dead. Now if you follow my channel or you are active in the community tab, you might know the motherboard of it is dead which is why it's not possible for me to give you guys a low end benchmark on how the game might run or perform in low end PCs. Which is why I have two parts in this video. In the first part, I have shown you guys optimization settings that you can use for almost all of the setups that includes decent PCs as well as low end PCs and in the second part, I have showed you guys settings that you should use in the low end PCs. And if this video helps then make sure to drop a like and if you want more low end guides like this make sure to subscribe to the channel as it will help me out a lot. And also if you are on Facebook make sure to check out my friend's Facebook page where she streams Apex Legends every now and then and you might find me hanging around with her. Anyway let's begin. First of all if you are using Windows 10 make sure that you are on the latest update of Windows 10. Microsoft is actually doing a really good job at keeping Windows optimized and the latest update of Windows 10 actually gives really good performance in gaming. Firstly on the Windows settings go to game mode. From here make sure that you have it turned on then go to graphics settings. Now make sure that you have this one hardware accelerated graphics scheduling turned on. Now you might have to restart your PC to make it work properly but make sure that it's on. From here then make sure to select Apex Legends. Now you might not see Apex so browse and then find your Apex Legends folder. Now I don't know where you installed the game so it's kind of up to you but if you didn't change the location of the game it might be in C drive and then program files in origins or steam library. So anyway just find the game then select this one. I mean select the exe file which is basically the r5apex.exe. So make sure to add it here and then from here go to options and make sure that it's on high performance. Now this isn't that useful for desktop users but if you're using laptop it is actually quite useful. So after that what you have to do is clean all your temporary files. So press windows plus r at the same time or just open run from here. Okay so after opening run type temp t e m p and from here as you guys can see I don't have any folder here but if you open it you'll see a lot of folders just control plus a then shift delete. Now you might not be able to delete everything so skip the ones that you can't. Then go to run again then type percent temp percent then ok. Then here you'll see a lot of files again just control plus a and delete everything and just skip the ones that you can't. Then go to run again, then type prefetch here and delete everything from here. So control plus A then shift plus delete and skip the ones that you can't. Now after cleaning all the temporary files on your PC, you might want to close all the unnecessary apps that you are not using. So as you guys can see if I go here you guys will see I have a lot of apps that I am actually not using and are just turned on like Epic Games Launcher, Battle.net Launcher, Cards Forge, Discord. I am currently not using Discord obviously. So you might want to close everything that you can see here. I mean you might not have everything here but you might want to close everything that you don't need. I mean I hope you get the idea what I mean. Then what you have to do is make sure that you are using the updated drivers. For that I recommend a software called Driver Booster. Just open it, I mean you have to install it, I will link it down in the description box below. Just open it, then here you will find the scan button, just scan it. And as you guys can see all my drivers are updated. But if your drivers are not updated, you will see a update button here. Just press it and update all the drivers. Then what you can do is install a game booster. The one I recommend using is Razer Cortex. So after installing Game Booster like Razer Cortex, you might have to open an account and make sure in the library, I mean in my library, you have Apex Legends. Now obviously this will work without any Razer products, so that's great. Now what this will do is clear a little more RAM for you and if you're using a low end PC, that's actually a really good thing. And it works automatically so you don't have to do anything extra. So that's great also. Now I highly recommend playing Apex Legends from Steam as you can use some of the launch commands. So go to library. Then from Apex Legends, right click and then go to properties. 
then copy everything that you can see here from the launch option now i'll link i'll obviously type it in the description box or you can copy it from here i mean type it yourself now on the steam settings go to library and make sure that you have low bandwidth mode and low performance mode turned on so after turning them on just hit ok now what you have to do is go in the game and change some in-game settings now as you guys can see i'm in game so let's go to settings and then go into the video settings now as you guys can see i have all the options here so firstly you want to have your display mode in full screen aspect ratio on native and resolution on native now this is for decent pcs but if you're using a low-end pc you have to reduce your resolution now i'll show you that in the second part of the video but if you're using a decent or at least medium pc then keep it on the native settings then copy everything that you guys can see here now as you guys can see there is an option called adaptive resolution fps target now this is basically custom resolution i mean if you have ever watched my valorant videos you guys will see that there is this custom resolution thing to reduce i mean use a custom resolution on top of your actual resolution now it's a little hard to explain but it's actually that so what happens is that if you use it i mean if you keep it on 60 it will make the resolution of the game so that it actually gives you 60 fps now i actually recommend using it and keeping it on 60 to get a stable fps in the game now if you keep it on zero it basically means that it's turned off and it's not working so keep it on 60. now just go ahead and copy everything that you can see here it's basically all the lowest settings that you can get from in-game settings now also on the texture streaming budget you want to have it on very low if you have a graphics card instead of none now this none basically means that it's actually using all of the GPU I mean all of the GPU memory that you have and if you have a I mean if you have a dedicated graphics card Then it's actually recommended to use it. I mean like a, use the custom amount So after that just apply everything that you can see and close it now after that go to this PC then local disk C Then users then go to your username. You'll see your username here. It can be different for you then go to saved games then respawn then apex then local then go to video configuration file and open it i mean like this and from here now set the csm enabled value to zero and csm coverage to zero as well and set the lod switch scale to 0 0.4 and save it and that's pretty much what you have to do in terms of in-game settings but however if you are using a low-end pc i recommend using all the settings that you can see here now i will copy and paste it down in the description or i will upload this file so that you can copy everything from here yourself i think uploading it will be a better idea so i'll just upload it and you can download it and just rename it to videoconfig.txt sorry just rename it to videoconfig.txt just delete this low end part and make sure that it's the same name as this one. So basically just download it and then rename it and copy paste it. After that, if you're using a NVIDIA GPU, go to NVIDIA control panel, then go to manage 3D settings, then go to program settings. Then select Apex Legends from here. Now you might not see Apex Legends here again, so just add it. And as you guys can see, here's Apex Legends, so just add it from here anyways now you might want to copy everything that i show here so first of all set the low latency mode to ultra then open gl rendering gpu now if you have multiple gpu in your pc make sure that you have selected the stronger one now this is actually applicable for laptops where multiple gpus work at the same time so make sure to select the dedicated gpu here then power management mode to prefer maximum performance then this one turn it on texture filtering then tree linear optimization on then texture filtering quality to performance and vertical sync to off now you can actually turn it on depending on what kind of pc you have but i recommend keeping it off and save it i mean there's nothing to save just close it 
and that's pretty much all you have to do if you have a decent PC and I hope you will be able to get good FPS after using all the settings. And now let's go to the low end part. Now to be honest, there's nothing much you can do for low end PCs except for reducing the resolution. And everything that I showed up until now can be applied for low end PCs. Obviously do everything that I showed. Let's reduce our resolution and let me show you how you can do that. So first go to display settings and set the resolution to 800 into 600. So keep the changes. And now what will happen is obviously we're on 800 into 600 resolution. Now in the configuration file that I gave you, in the low end configuration file, the resolution is already set to 800 into 600. So basically you don't have to make any other changes now. And let's rename this to the main configuration file. So now if you go in our game, we'll be into 800 into 600 resolution. Now as you guys can see, we're in 800 into 600 resolution in our game. Also from here, go to game menu and settings. And from the video option, make sure to set the adaptive resolution FPS target to 100%. And apply it. Oh, and also make sure that you don't change your video settings again. Sorry, I think I made a mistake here. But I'll fix it in the video configuration file. So I'm actually sorry for that. But anyway, I'll fix it in the configuration file. So you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, I think this was it for today. And I'm really excited for season 11 of Apex Legends. And also check out my friend's page. I've linked it down in the pinned comment. And well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.